Hi, I'm Bob. Welcome to the Slater course on regression analysis and estimation methods. We will discuss obtaining the two-stage least squares estimates with the instrumental variables in Slater. Please check out this video on the basics of the instrumental variables method before running the regression models. We will estimate the return to education for the male workers today. The data set comes from the textbook Introductory Econometrics, a modern approach by Professor Jeffrey Woodridge. Please download the data file from the link below. We first upload the dataset to Stata and then describe it. We see the outcome variable log hourly wage and the explanatory variables we will use in the model. The worker's educational attainment is measured by the years of schooling completed. We will estimate the coefficient on the education variable. It is the return to education. In addition to education, experience, its square term, and the race indicator are control variables in the model. They are also determinants of wages. The factors behind workers' wages include geographic variables, such as whether they live in the south, whether they live in metropolitan areas, and other eight region dummy variables. We first run the OLS regression model. The OLS estimate for the return to education is 0 0.076, implying that one more year of schooling increases wages by 7.6% on average, holding other variables in the model fixed. We suspect the omitted variable bias occurs, and particularly we are concerned about the worker's unobserved ability and personality. They influence workers' wages and also correlate with their educational attainment. It results in the omitted variable bias. We decide to employ the two-stage least squares estimation. We find the education levels of the workers' mother and father. Parents' education can be used as an instrumental variable for the workers' education. We also find a dummy variable that indicates whether the worker grew up near a four-year college. It can also be used as an instrumental variable for the workers' educational attainment. Stata provides the instrumental variables method by the command IV regress. We can choose from three estimation procedures, the two-stage least squares, the limited information maximum likelihood, and the generalized method of moments. We use the two-stage least squares procedure with the college proximity as an IV for the worker's educational attainment. We type IV regress, followed by the procedure two-stage least squares. Then we write the outcome variable log wage and all the exogenous control variables, experience and its square term, black, south, metropolitan areas, and the region dummies. Then we write the endogenous variable education inside a parenthesis with the excluded instrumental variable, whether growing up near a four-year college. We use an equal sign between them. After a comma, we specify options. We use the option first to report the first stage regression results. In the first stage regression, the instrumental variable 
highly correlates with the worker's education. Growing up near a four-year college increases the worker's education by 0.3 years on average. It is statistically significant at any reasonable level. So it is not a weak instrument. The IV satisfies the instrument relevance requirement very well. The second stage regression shows that the return to education is 0.153. It implies that one more year of schooling increases the workers' wages by 15.3%, or precisely 16.5% on average. After holding other factors constant and controlling for the omitted variable bias, we store the results and use the S tab command to list the estimates. The two-stage least square estimate for the return to education doubles that in the OLS model. The standard error is much higher for the IV estimate. Both estimates are statistically significant at the one percent level. We can try another IV, the parents' education. We use the eGen command to create a new variable, parents' education, which equals the average education of mother and father. Using this IV, the estimated return to education is 0.094. Notice that the sample size changes because some parents' education data are unavailable. We can use multiple IVs in the two-stage least squares estimation. In our example, we can use both the college proximity and the parents' education as IVs for the workers' education. We need to put all instrumental variables inside the parentheses after the equal sign. The first stage regression shows they are highly correlated with the workers' education. The estimate for the return to education is close to that with the parents' education as the only IV. We use the post estimation commands to obtain the diagnostic statistics after we use the instrumental variables method. I will introduce three commands. They start with STAT, meaning estimation statistics. The STAT first stage command reports the partial R squared, telling us how strong the instrumental variable alone can explain the endogenous variable. The F statistic tests whether the coefficients of the instrumentals in the first stage are significant. It also provides the agent value statistics. We conclude that the IVs are highly correlated with the endogenous variable, the worker's education. The instrument relevance requirement is satisfied. The next post-estimation test is the endogeneity test. And we type STAT, endogenous. It tests whether the worker's education variable is, in fact, endogenous. The null hypothesis is that it is not endogenous, and there is no need to use IVs. The p-value is about 0.12. It is not a decisive value. We could reject the null hypothesis at the 15% level, but not at the 10% level. So it's better to report both the OLS and the IV estimates. The OLS and the two-stage least squares estimates do not differ too much. 7.6% versus 9.5%. The 95% confidence interval of the two-stage least squares estimate almost covers the OLS estimate. 
The third post estimation test is the over identifying restriction test. It is for the case when we have more instrumental variables than endogenous explanatory variables. In our last model, we have two instruments and only one endogenous variable. So we can perform the over identifying restriction test. We type STAT over ID. The null hypothesis is that all instruments are exogenous. We could not reject the null hypothesis, and it is preferred to use both IVs. We can also use the command IV rec2 to estimate the model. It provides the same results as the IV regress command. It automatically produces diagnostic statistics, such as the IV significance F-test, the endogenous variable test, and the over-identifying restriction test. The results are identical to the post-estimation tests after the command IV regress. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon in the next topic. Take care. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.